Here's a common problem I hear from clients. One partner says, when I can't talk anymore and I want space, my partner comes after me. If your partner is a verbal processor and is used to talking everything through or is used to venting, you need to express when you have reached your capacity to listen or to have a discussion. When we need space and we say no to what our partner wants, that's a form of distance taking. Nothing wrong with distance. Intimacy is an endless negotiation of closeness and distance and how you manage that. There's two ways of taking distance though. There's the way that we often do it, spontaneous. We just take distance, we walk out of the room or we shut down and stonewall. And that's what Terry Real would call provocative or irresponsible distance taking as opposed to responsible distance taking. The odds are increased that your partner will experience spontaneous distance taking as a rupture in the relationship. And if your partner has any abandonment trauma and you just walk off, they're going to get anxious. They will most likely have trouble accepting your boundary and they might even come after you. So a more aware form of distance taking has two parts. Number one, here is why I'm taking the distance. So there's an explanation. And number two, here's when I'm coming back. There's a promise to return. Or depending on the example, we give the person an alternative. This would sound like this. Your partner asks, can we talk? And you say, sorry, not right now. I feel overwhelmed and triggered. I need a time out to calm my nervous system. But we can continue talking tonight. You've said, here is why I'm saying no. And here's when I will be back. Or let's take another example that has nothing to do with talking. Your partner asks, do you want to go dancing? And you say, no, my knee is sore, but a gentle walk would be great. So first, here's why I'm saying no. And here's what I'm willing to do instead. Explaining why you're taking distance and telling them when you're coming back or giving them an alternative reassures your partner that there's no rupture in the relationship. It's just a pause. 